Hey everyone, welcome back. You guys know I'm all about those deep dives, and today we're tackling the characters of Hunter x Hunter with this incredible guidebook I've got my hands on. Oh, I've heard good things about this one. I heard it's got all sorts of juicy tidbits. Seriously, it's not just like, oh, here's Ahsoka, he likes to fight. It's like getting inside their heads. Mm -hmm. you know? I like it. Psychology of fictional characters, one of my favorite things. What kind of stuff is it revealing? Okay, so take Gone, for example. The book goes beyond the surface level of his Jajankin ability, like how it reflects his straightforward and determined personality. Which, when you think about it, makes perfect sense. Nen is all about aura and willpower. Right. Jolly. And this guidebook just connects those dots so well. It's not just gone either. Remember Kurapika and his chains? Oh, how can I forget? Those chains are iconic. It talks about how his men, the chains, are a physical representation of his need for revenge to bind and restrict the phantom troop who destroyed his clan. It gives me chills just thinking about it. See, that's what I love about Hunter x Hunter, the emotional depth tied into those abilities. And it's not just about the main characters either. This guy delves into the phantom troop, the chimera ants, even the royal family from the Kasayan Empire. That's amazing. That's what I always loved about this series. Togashi Sensei created this whole intricate world, and every group, every character feels so real, so fleshed out, you know? You can really get lost in it, that's for sure. Speaking of getting lost, let's talk Nen for a second. Oh boy, get ready for the rabbit hole. What's this guidebook say about everyone's favorite power system? Okay, so it breaks down each Nen type enhancement, transmutation, emission, conjuration, manipulation, and specialization in a way that's easy to understand, even for newcomers. Which is good, because it can get pretty complex, especially when you consider how each character utilizes their Nen in battles. Right. The guide even ties their unique fighting styles back to their Nen type, showing how everything's connected. A strategic depth, character development, all woven together through this intricate power system. It's genius. It really is. Yeah. Okay, but are you ready for the best part? The guidebook has an entire section dedicated to behind-the-scenes stuff, including notes and sketches from Togashi himself. No way. You're kidding? Nope. We get to see early character designs, original concepts. It's like taking a peek into Togashi's creative process. Man, I wish more creators did that. It really helps fans appreciate the thought and detail that goes into building a world like Hunter x Hunter. Absolutely. It just adds another layer to the whole experience. Yeah. Oh, and it also does this cool thing where it breaks down the major arcs of the series. Like from the Hunter exam all the way to the Chimera Ant arc. That arc was intense. It doesn't shy away from the heavy stuff. But it does a great job of connecting the characters back to these arcs, their individual journeys, and the themes each arc explores. That's what I love about good storytelling. Everything is connected. It makes the world feel so much richer and more meaningful. Exactly. This guidebook honestly blew me away. Whether you're new to Hunter x Hunter or a diehard fan like myself, I highly recommend checking it out. It's full of those aha moments that make you see the series in a whole new light. I couldn't agree more. Now I'm curious, though, thinking about all these characters and their backstories, how might that change your perspective on the events of the series? Something to think about. Right. So much to unpack. But sadly, that's all the time we have for today. Make sure to check out the guidebook and let us know your thoughts. Until next time.